Hello, my name is Freddy Shota and welcome to another session of techniques brought to you by NEI. In today's session, we'll show you how to configure the base and rover internal radios in Trimble Access. To configure our base station with an internal radio in Trimble Access, we'll start off by going to the Settings menu, Survey Styles, and for this example, we're going to edit the RTK survey style. We want to select base radio. So our type of radio is going to be receiver internal, so we can utilize the internal radio on the R8. Method TT450 slash 900. Connect our base. You see the Bluetooth searching for the base serial number. Now it will prompt us at the very bottom to connect to the internal radio. You will go through the process of actually connecting to the internal radio on the R8. Connect it to receiver internal. We'll change our radio operating mode to base. We'll set our frequency for this example to 464.5500. Base radio mode, TT450 at 8000. And for this example, we'll go repeater supported none, channel sharing none. And we can enter a station ID if we wanted to, but for today's example, we'll leave our station ID unchecked. And we'll accept this. It'll set the radio. So now I'll type set to receiver internal. We'll accept that. And we'll store our survey style. To configure our internal receive radio on our R8, we need to go to the Settings menu in Trimble Access, Survey Styles menu, and for today's example, we will use the RTK Survey Style, select Rover Radio. Our radio type for the R8 receive on the rover is going to be Receiver Internal, so we'll select Receiver Internal with a method of Trimble 450 slash 900, and we will connect to our radio. It will prompt that it's working on connecting to the radio. You see, once we get our connection, it will tell us connect it, receiver internal. Our radio operating mode is rover. We want to select the same frequency that we set our base receiver up in. And for this example, it was 464.5500. And our base radio mode is TT450 at 8000 BPS. Both the frequency and base radio mode in the rover and base have to match. We'll hit accept. It'll set the radio, we'll accept this again, and we'll store our survey file to store any changes that we just made in this session. All right, to test our radio configuration, we're going to go into measure, survey style, or TK, and start base receiver. Go in and give it the point name that we created by going to list and GPS base point. You'll see that our observation class is keyed in. It prompts us for an antenna height, and we'll go ahead and put in our antenna height for this case is two meters. And the next feature is asking what are you measuring to? For most applications, we'll measure to the bottom of the antenna mount. So we'll select that. Our station index is set at 14, and our transmit delay is set to zero. And we'll start our base. And it prompts us base started. We can hit OK. And now we want to test out our connection on the rover side. So we'll go back into the measure feature, survey style RTK. And now we'll measure points. You'll see we're getting a Bluetooth connection right now with our GNSS rover via Bluetooth. We'll start the survey and build us a base list. We'll see our station index of 14 and our reliability of 100%. So we are receiving our radio corrections and we'll hit accept. And what we're looking for is for it to prompt us that we're receiving our con corrections with initialization has been gained. And there we go, we got our prompt and we are ready to start surveying. So just a quick check with our rover, it'll prompt us for a point name. In this case, we're gonna give it a point name of check. If we had a feature code in the library, we could actually enter a code here. In this case, we don't. Our method we're going to use is topo point. 
That's going to access for our antenna height again. We're using a t two meter pole, so we'll put in two meters. And then we're going to measure again to the bottom of antenna mount. In most cases, you will. So our next step is to hit measure, record the topo shot. You can see our precisions at the very bottom for the RTK is fixed. And you see our horizontal and vertical precision. So our radio configuration is successful. And we'll go ahead and shut down our survey. We'll go back into our measure. And this time we'll hit NGNSS survey. It will access if we want to power down receiver. And we select it yes. We'll go back into our measure again. RTK survey style. And we'll NGNSS base survey. We'll establish our Bluetooth connection again with our base. And it'll end the survey for us and prompt us again to power down receiver. And we'll power down our receiver by hitting yes. This concludes today's session. Please visit neigps.com for more videos, FAQs, and the training class schedule. Thank you.